Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show, everybody let's go, check out my video, if you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive. Lord Jesus, I ask that you would bless it and make it nourishing to my body. Father God, I thank you for my friends, family, and subscribers. I thank you for how you keep them safe. In Jesus' name, I thank you for everything every day. Amen. So you guys, I'm back with another mukbang and today we got crab legs, some corn on the cob, a little bit of lemon and some broccoli and we are going to get it in because I'm hungry. I have some beloved sauce. I didn't heat it up because I am in love with brown butter. When I'm eating snow crab, I love the brown butter and I just have some water. So let me I'm going to start with some of this overcooked broccoli. It doesn't have any crunch left to it. I cooked it longer than I wanted to, but I love broccoli, so it's still really good to me. Let me get my situation together. How have you all been doing today? Mm, good, good, good. I hope your day has been amazing. Let's see if this corn is any good because it's not corn season. Oh my goodness. It's corn season somewhere. Wow, this is super sweet. Mm. Ain't gonna be a whole lot talking, y'all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's sweet. I got this at my local grocery store. Because mm -mm. I had to gear up and get about it. I was running out of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, my staples, fine on those. You know, things like canned goods, rice, beans. I'm fine with that, but you run out of your fresh things. You run out of lettuce, tomato, you know, so put my mask on, which I'm in that thing all day anyway at work, so nothing new to me. Shouldn't be anything new to any of you guys at this point either, huh? Put that mask on and went on to the grocery store. And that corn, I'm telling you, is good. Good and sweet. It was um four ears in a pack. And I'm glad I cooked two. I snapped them in half. I'm going to have to move the bowl so y'all can see me dip. Mm, mm, mm. So today is Wednesday. You know it'll be Thursday when you get this video. Mm. 
things ain't gonna snap right, I can already tell. Because you really shouldn't have to use scissors on snow crab. And if you have to use scissors, they cooked a little longer than you wanted them to. No. Mm -mm. I know. Y'all waiting on y'all's bite. I gotta get a good piece. I'm trying to get these little little shredded pieces. Gotta get you a good piece. I can get a good piece. That ain't a good piece either. It's a balled up piece, y'all. Mm. 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 I'm telling you, I can eat snow crab every day. Every day, every day. I could figure out all kind of ways to make it. And I would eat it every day if I could afford to. Until I got sick of it. I don't know if that would ever happen. Mm -mm. Over here messing. Already. So today, work went as well as can be expected. It's work. Everything went okay. Our I'm going to say these pieces because they're a little harder to get into. Are any of you guys back at work yet? Or not yet since it's just now starting to get to that point. You know, the point where they're saying... It's a shell in my mouth somewhere. The point where they're saying you guys can come back to work. Are you back at work yet? And if you are, comment down below. Where do you work? What do you do? And how do you feel about it? Do you feel like you want to be back at work because you need your money? And it's kind of a, a rock. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place because you need your money, but you don't really feel like you should be back at work yet. Mm. Oh man, I'm butter all on my face. Anyway, so yeah, comment down below if you're back at work yet. And if you are, what do you do? And how do you feel about being back? If you're not back yet, but you know you're going back soon. Because things are starting to slowly open back up in, the, in different states. Are you going back? Or are you going to take a little more time and just wait and see what happens? Very interesting to know what's going on in other states right now. You would think it's the same everywhere, but it's not. Each um, governor, I guess, is opening things up slowly. 
and choosing the things that they think um, they can open up with as little problem as possible. I want every piece of my meat up out of this shell, and there's some in here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I feel like every time I have snow crab, it's such a treat. It's just good to me. I used to always want to go out to dinner for like my birthday, Mother's Day, which, you know, Mother's Day coming up in May. I wonder if um the restaurants will be packed because I, I, I'm guessing they're going to open them back up here shortly. And I wonder... If they're going to be packed like they usually are on Mother's Day. But I used to love going out for, here's a good bite, on Mother's Day and stuff like that. My birthday, Mother's Day. For uh, dinner, because I would always get crap. Now, that don't even matter, because I make all my crap at home. I have it more often now that I keep it in my freezer than I did back then. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys. Mother's Day is coming. And I know a lot of people that's your treat. You go out to dinner for Mother's Day. But I think this year it's going to be some husbands making their wives dinner at home. <laughs> Which some of you husbands probably were doing anyway and it's no big deal. But the ones that weren't that were taking their wives out taking their family out for Mother's Day children taking their mom out for Mother's Day Y'all better figure out what the meal plan is. Because I'm telling you what. I wouldn't want to be in a restaurant next month on Mother's Day. I'm going to wait. I'm not rushing back out. I'm going to wait and see what happens, like I said. It just don't get no better. Mm -hmm. I ain't even use my lemon, y'all. I do like it on broccoli, though. Ooh. I hope I didn't get you. Mm-hmm. I find if I put lemon on broccoli, I don't need salt. Mm. That is good.
you guys let me know also down below if um if I didn't say it already if you're going out or not I'd like to know if you are planning on going to dinner My hands are a hot mess. This is so good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what this weather is doing. It is snowing. Big, huge snowflakes. The ones that are wet and they melt, but still. It's snowing. to look and see if that went in my water. Because <laughs> I was like, uh, uh I ain't finna drink that water. I don't want no crab juice water. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I am tired. Tired red. I am going to bed early. Today. Mm -hmm. I'll call my sister back. Cause she called, but I was getting trying to get myself together to film, so I didn't pick up. But I call her back when I'm done eating. She said she was just checking in. Mm. -mm. I'm going to try to make some gumbo this weekend. I had a, a subscriber, a friend that I've known for years said her husband is craving gumbo and she would like a gumbo video. So I'll be doing that. Here's another bite. That's a bigger one. I should just put the lemon juice in the butter since I can't remember to dip it. Mmm. Feels corn now. It's corn as corn. I'm sorry I'm laughing and smacking. <laughs> it's so sweet. I should have done the Tam's Table Clean the Corn Challenge. Sweet, get this corn sweet and good. And has anybody heard from Tam? I ain't seen no videos up from her in a while. Cooking with Tracy was saying the same thing. She was saying if anybody had heard from her, she would like to know because she just wants to know that she's okay. And that's very, very true. You know, everybody out here 
in this mukbang community, <clears throat> community, we kind of are a family, you know? So we have to check on each other and make sure everybody's okay. And I have not seen a video post from Tam's table in a good month. So, if anybody knows what's going on, if you if you know that she's okay, just comment down below she's okay. Because, because I, I just, you know, we need to watch out for each other. Take care of each other and hit each other up from time to time. Shoot, right now, the way things are going on the regular, instead of some time to time, shoot, we need to check on each other more often. When somebody fall off, we need to know what's going on. How can we help? What can we do? So right now, since nobody's heard from her, we're going to stand in the gap and we're going to just pray on her. Make sure everything's all right. Because without knowing anything more than that, you know, the best thing that we can do is pray for her. Pray for her that she is safe and she's okay and that her family is okay. And, you know, maybe she just needs to take a break from YouTube for a while, which is fine. But, um, just want to make sure she's all right. And I know a certain 100%. If I fall off and y'all don't hear from me for a while, I know for sure, without a doubt, there are quite a few of you that will be hitting me up. Like, sis, where you at? What's going on? What's wrong? I know for a fact that I would hear from Katina from Kate's Confections without a doubt because we have each other's personal uh, cell phone number so I know she would be like you are right what's going on I know for a fact without a doubt that I would hear from Teresa Greer she does not have a YouTube channel but she has been an awesome friend, sister, family member, subscriber from day one. And we have each other's personal cell phone numbers. My YouTube channel drop off and nobody sees a video from me because I upload every day. Nobody sees a video from me. They're going to immediately be like, what's going on? I don't know for a fact I would hear from her. I know for a fact, I would hear from MRTV. Maria, if they ain't about to let me disappear off of YouTube and not, like, question what's going on, that ain't gonna happen. We don't have each other's personal number, but we do also talk in a group on Instagram, Instagram, stand with the tribe, hashtag stand with the tribe. And I know she would be hitting me up like, sis, where you at? What's going on? You okay? So that is one of the wonderful blessings and one of the wonderful things that I truly, truly love and appreciate that came out of starting my own channel. Other than having my platform. Oh, y'all, I'm about to get cut off. <laughs> I've been talking too much. See? Let me eat this bite. Mm, mm, mm. Every time I eat crab legs, they have me entranced, y'all. <laughs> I can't think. Grace and blessings. Oh, my gosh. I hope I don't get cut off. Nothing whatever pertaining to Godliness and real holiness 
can be accomplished without grace. And that's St. Augustine. And this is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is a good word for today. I'm so sorry. I got the run of my mouth, looked up and went, oh my gosh, my time is running out. So it may cut me off of my outro. Just know that I love you. So you guys, if you like this content, you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share me out. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Please, please, please pray for Tam's table. If you know what's going on with her, just hit me up and say she's fine um, because she hasn't posted in a while. And, you know, as, as a community, we need to watch out for each other, and I'm just getting a little concerned. So, as well as Tracy um, from Cooking with Tracy, she wanted to know. So if you know anything and you follow Tracy, you watch her channel, just drop it in one of her videos that, Tam's table is okay. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.